Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. And let us continue with our series on bus bar protection scheme. So what is a bus bar in the substation? So bus bar is a junction point in which there is a incoming feeders current is distributed to the outgoing feeders so like this you can see equal number of incoming and outgoing feeder distribution is done the junction point is called as the bus bar over here the simplified diagram is shown so red are the incomers incoming current and blue is the outgoing current so this is a junction point where incoming feeders will collect the current and it will be distributed to the outgoing feeders like this you can see this is the bus bar now when you go to a substation there will be three phase current r y b so you can see in bus bar three current carrying conducting parts you can see there's that means three incoming feeders okay and distribute in the outgoing feeders so substation bus design can be single bus substation, double bus substation and three bus substation. In single bus substation we have arrangement only for a single bus. So it is a single bus substation. Where then for more convenience we also have a scheme in which a single bus with sectionalizer sub bus substation. We have already seen this in our previous video. Then we have discussed about two main bus substation and main bus and transfer bus substation that we are going to discuss in today's video. Also main come transfer bus substation arrangement can be seen. And then there are three bus substation. So let us understand about two bus substation in today's video. So single bus substation as we have already covered. So it is having a transformer, a bus and then there are number of outgoing feeders. Double bus substation. So two main bus substation, bus 1 and main bus 2, it will be having feeder arrangement like this. The isolators are provided. These are selector isolators that will help you select bus 1 or bus 2. So similarly for transformers also, okay, and then this is feeder. We have seen that for two bus substation, the main part, main role is of this, that is a bus coupler that will connect the two bus. So in today's video, we will learn in more detail about main bus and auxiliary bus substation. So this is a main bus and this is an auxiliary bus. So it is having incoming feeder. Okay. And it is having a transformer. So this you can call it as incoming feeders and transformer will be outgoing feeder. Also, uh, this scheme has a bus coupler arrangement similar to two bus system. Now, this auxiliary bus will have a selection isolator that will select whether the power is to be transferred through the main bus or through the auxiliary bus. So special arrangement, one extra isolator is provided to select this auxiliary bus. Yes. Now suppose the power is flowing from this feeder. It will charge this main bus and through the outgoing feeders it will go into the outgoing feeders. Now what happens if one of these breakers is not working? So if there is issue in one of these breakers, say if there is issue in one of these breakers and because of that you cannot charge this transformer but you have to charge this transformer. So we will use this bus coupler over here and we will close this isolator of auxiliary bus. Closing the bus coupler, the power gets transferred to the auxiliary bus and the auxiliary bus is now charged. Through the auxiliary charge bus, closing this auxiliary bus isolator for this transformer, now power will be going into this transformer. So this is how the auxiliary bus arrangement is working. Now before going into the second type of uh, bus, we will discuss in detail about three bus substation. So this is main bus and main bus 1, 2 and transfer bus substation. So similar to main bus, two main bus we have 1 and 2 and now as we discussed auxiliary bus we are having a transfer bus scheme. So this scheme is a combination of main bus and auxiliary right. So we will see it is incoming feeder as usual for the arrangement is same 
you have bus selector isolator 1 and 2 okay through this feeder we select which bus to be charged and uh, what is different over here is one more isolator is added for the transfer bus similarly if we are considering this outgoing transformer feeder it will have one more isolator and this bus main bus 1 and main bus 2 selection isolators similarly we are having other two feeders and one more outgoing transformer bus coupler is always present to maintain the power supply between bus 1 and bus 2 in case of any emergency as well as what is different over here is a transfer bus coupler is TBC is present in this scheme this plays a very crucial role you can see one isolator is provided over here along with the bus coupler and two isolator and this bus coupler circuit breaker so already this arrangement is there for a bus coupler apart from this one additional arrangement of two isolators one circuit breaker and one isolator for the transfer bus now in normal condition how the power flow will be occurring you can see if you close this isolator if you are thinking that this feeder will charge bus 1 okay this transformer will be outgoing through bus 1 similarly this isolator is charging bus 2 this is also charging bus 2 and this transformer is charged through bus 2 now how the power flow will occur from this feeder see you can see power flow this bus is charged through this bus this transformer will be charged ok so this transformer is having power supply now through this feeder <coughs> This feeder is charging bus number 2, okay, and similarly you can see bus 2 is charged. Through this, the isolator transformer is also charged. Now, what is the function of bus coupler? We know that if in generally if bus coupler is on, then power flow will occur from bus 1 to bus 2 and bus 2 to bus 1 ok so that is how the power flow will occur if we are having a bus coupler on generally in uh, based on the requirement of the grid the bus coupler is either turned on or turned off now what happens is sometimes there can be a problem in say this circuit breaker if there is a circuit breaker having issue or say you want this circuit breaker to go under some maintenance for a few days now this is as we know that this is the main feeder that is charging this bus but if there is a problem in this circuit breaker then this feeder the feeder will not charge this bus so in that case we use this transfer bus how do we use this is a transfer bus arrangement in this we close this isolator ok and we off the bus 2 and we close the transfer bus isolator now what will happen is the power flow and we will also have to close this feeder isolator for connecting the transfer bus see now how the power flow occurs is through this feeder through the transfer bus breaker your bus will be charged so the benefit of transfer bus you can clearly observe is even if this main feeder is that is providing the power supply to bus is under some kind of maintenance or outage if this breaker then also your power evacuation through this feeder will be continued there will be no interruption in power ok so this is how the transfer bus arrangement is used along with bus 1 and main bus 2 so friends in today's video we have learned about main bus and transfer bus system and 3 bus substation in the next video we will be studying about main come transfer bus substation so if you have any kind of queries you can ask in the comments below keep watching our videos and keep watching for the next upcoming part thank you